Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw and if you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, guys, I thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. Just to let you know, the lighting's a bit off in the intro and the outro, um, but today's video was actually filmed in the daylight. It's just we've had a really super hectic day today. Um, it's Albert's first birthday. I can't believe he's one. Um, we've had like a little family party here. Um, and I have been dressed today. So the first part of the video I'm filming, and you can see me in the mirror in my dressing gown, um, and then I've been dressed for the day and I'm back in my dressing gown because that's how I roll, especially in the autumn months. Um, just to let you know, today's video is in collaboration with Wayfair. Um, it's not an advert, it's just they've gifted me some items and I thought it would fit in with this video best. So I'm showing you some of the items that are gifted. Um, but obviously I've chosen to put them into this video just to say thank you, to show them, show the pieces off. Um, and one of the items actually hadn't arrived until today. It's all come really quick delivery, um, but I filmed and completely forgot this one was coming. So I thought I'd just show you in the intro part of the video. Um, so they let me pick a few items, which was so, so kind. Um, and yeah, I thought I'd show you during this video because it really is fitting the bits that I've picked are very autumn and fit in with my home in a tour setting and um, because they're homeware pieces so thank you wayfair i definitely recommend going on there having a little look they've got some really beautiful items and any of the items that i show you today i will link in the description as well they won't be affiliate links or nothing i won't earn a commission from them but i would link them for you to make them easier to find um so yeah this little pumpkin is so cute how lovely is that i'm gonna pop this on my doorstep and it's like got a little battery lights in them which is really really good I love that and I just thought that was really cute it's got a little burlap leaves on it it's just really really nice <laughs> of us I'm awake and because of what I'm feeling feeling and that love's a fooling game I don't want you to be crying tears of pain even though it feels like I'm close to you but still so far away I kiss you But not in the same way I cannot tell you how it happened When things started to change And I'm not sure of what I'm saying Cause every time something I am missing, missing But this love's a fooling game I don't want you to be crying tears of pain Even though it feels like I'm close to you But still so far away I touch you But not in the same way You saw what's coming in my eyes So I love this little corner now I think it's really cute The kids can help themselves to a little like mix up if they want to after school a little snack and um, i also got the little tear tray that i got from amazon i will link anything again below in the description box that i can um also as well look how lovely these that were asatia i think they're called jars i've just got some galaxy instant hot chocolate in there and um, i do have the little hot chocolate spoons that we use with our velvetizer and um, but i thought for instant a nice quick easy one after school and millie is learning to make teas and stuff herself and um, so i thought this would be good for her i've got the little pumpkin spice mug and sweater weather mugs on here the salt water deck ones um a little teaspoon at the ready which i'll just keep popping out fresh teaspoons and um, these little pumpkins are from amazon as well little polystyrene ones um they come in a big packet also got this little garland which is so lovely and farmhousey that's from amazon as well this little jar here um we got from the pound shop um and i've got some cinnamon powder because i love having cinnamon on top of my whipped cream on my hot chocolate 
Gary's got his hands full of velvet, as you can hear. <laughs> and I also got this little fairy tale pumpkin sign. This is made by a little company called Wombles Crafts on Etsy, so I'll link her shop below as well. Also got the little pumpkin, um, glass pumpkin from Home Bargains, and just fill for all snacks from Home Bargains, each packet. And um, the Reese's peanut butter cups, I think, were £2.99, um, but the jazzies were a pound, and the pretzels were like £1.29, um, so really reasonable. And I've got quite a bit left over of the pretzels, so I can top that up. And the little silver scoop, they're plastic they come in a packet of four from Hobbycraft and they were a pound and um, so yeah I thought I love that little corner of my kitchen really autumnal and festive now um, and I've got like my little pumpkin spoon in my jar as well and um, yeah I just feel like this looks really good. hear my father's voice he would tell me to move on he would say I'll be just fine yeah he would tell me we have time time to laugh and time to heal a favorite song is on repeat drinking wine until the dawn was filmed this morning and I'm in my dressing gown. <laughs> well, I know. First place I'm in is the hallway. So I've got these gorgeous little bats. I've stuck these on with blue tack, by the way, um, just because the stickers, someone said that they peeled the, like the paint off their wall. And um, so I got these from uh, Home Bargains and they come in a pack of so many. This is literally about a quarter of the pack, but I just thought that was nice enough as it was. Um, and as you come around, I've got this lovely little rug out. So this rug was gonna go in the porch, um, but I decided to not put it in the porch because actually underneath the other rug, it does look lovely for Pinterest, great. But it is black and white, so the white bit is gonna get incredibly dirty. So I thought I'll have that as the inside rug and it also goes really cute with the floor. And um, over here, this basket's actually from Wayfair. Um, so I thought this was really lovely. So this will be out this time, like all year as well, and for the rest of the year. Um, and it would be good for umbrellas and stuff like that. And the scarves, when they take them off, just chuck them in there, and then I'll go and sort them out, because otherwise I end up with them around the house. So that'd be a little designated spot. Um, but when it's in the summer and stuff like that, they can just put in their summer hats, their sunglasses, and then yet yeah, again, I'll sort that out. But I thought it was a really nice basket and really durable. It'd be quite good for books and magazines as well. So that might go around the house a little bit. I'm not too sure at the minute, but I like it there. Um, and then I've got these little pumpkins that are from TK Maxx. You can see some of them have got little gold features on. This one I actually painted white um, a couple of years ago, and I just thought they looked really, really cute like that. If we come round to the dresser, over here so this is my big stone vase and i've already got eucalyptus stems in it um but i've just put a few little burgundy ones in it just to sort of make it a slightly more autumnal and these little stems with like the little bits and bobs on because i just think they look a bit more autumnal that way um, and to go with the stone vase and stone pot i've also put my little um stone pumpkin this is probably my favorite one and i just thought that's really really cute there got to have a little pumpkin spice candle on and um, so i've got this from american treasures um, and i will link anything i can below in the description box because she's a small company and she's really lovely as well the lady that runs that got a picture of me and gary but obviously that's not all time though i just thought it was sweet um and these pine cones millie actually picked when she went on a little trip with the school so she's put them there and she said can we keep them there and i said yeah of course they look really sweet very autumnal and it's cute that she's picked them and i also got this so i got this from a little shop like on etsy um, and it's a lady that makes these and it's called um wombles crafts um, and this cute little like gold pumpkin is so sweet it's got like a little wooden acorn on it as well they're hand painted and handmade and um, so i'll link her little shop as well because it's good to shop some more and she's like got some really beautiful bits in there i've also got like a little sign on my tear tray the little pumpkin fairy tale pumpkins and um, that's from her as well and um, so i'll link that as well but i have got paint on my own hands where i've been painting myself today so i have to give you a little show what i'm doing and as we come out into the porch, we have got the pumpkin mat 
that we've got from B&Q, which was going to go onto this mat. And it did look really, really sweet, guys. But you know what? It just wasn't going to stay very clean. And so sometimes you have to go with what's good for the family rather than what's good for the gram. <laughs> Instagram, I mean. Um, so we've got a few real pumpkins out here, which are these ones, which we went pumpkin picking and got. And then we've also, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see. And then I've got a few of these ones from Amazon, which are really, really cute. And these are also from Amazon. I've got a pack of three of them, even though they were showing up now a men's t-shirt in my basket i'm not sure how that works um but yeah these are really cute these Fortnum mason baskets i have out all year round just so that the kids can pop their shoes and stuff in it's really easy um and this basket stays out as well but to be honest with you i probably could pop a little bit of autumnal foliage in there and um, because these are like fetch like the rosemary ones from ikea and that just stays out all year round because i quite like the look of that also got some more real pumpkins from pumpkin picking which are really sweet and if you look up here what you can see out the window when you're walking past we've actually got my wreath and um, so i'm going to hang a wreath on the door as well but i love this one i don't want it to get damaged and um, so we've got some pumpkins that i got from amazon that i popped in this a lot of foliage i got from amazon and then some bits that i got from like the range and i dissected oh can you hear albert having a scream He's probably wanting to get his own way or something, probably wanting chocolate or something that he's not allowed to have at the cupboard. He currently keeps trying to open the cupboard where the soup tins are. Um, it's such a heavy door. We've put them little latches on that you can't open, but it's not working on that door. So we've actually ordered some off Amazon. So hopefully they should be here this week because <laughs> now he's walking about. He just wants everything he can't have. Um, and then I spray painted these ones gold um, and popped them in there. And then this little sign in the middle is from Amazon as well in a pack of three. And it says thankful and blessed um and i just thought that looks really really cute there so let's get back in oh, my little creaky door i need a little bit wd-40 on that so as you come into our main living room i've had to put on let's go back to there we go <laughs> so it's really really cozy and you know what's really nice this is a really frosty morning outside so it just feels so cozy in here got a couple candles lit but this year's display is all the autumnal oranges. So last year was like the green eucalyptuses. Um, but this year, I actually got these from the range and I thought they were absolutely beautiful. And they have got like a little copper battery lead, uh, wire, um, battery pack in it. So you've got the little lights. I do need to get some AA batteries. So I've got loads of triplets. I need to get some AAs, but they seem to always go in toys. Um, so I've got none left for me. And all I've done is I've just popped a few of these little pumpkins that I got off Amazon in there as well and these ones i think these were from amazon too um in a pack of four so i've got some of them in there and i think it looks really rustic and farmhouse but the little white pumpkins really tie it back into the room down on the fireplace we've got our spooky books in my fortnum and mason hamper um so I, my mum got me this one christmas this fortnum and mason hamper for halloween she got it for me early and it's just filled with like Funny bones, like scary type, cut type books, spooky books, the pumpkin. Oh, hiding to go seek. Pumpkin who is afraid of the dark, so they can just read books, pick some spooky books. And I thought that's quite cute. Over here, I've just styled it up with some charity shop books. So, little tip if you want to style something up and add a colour into a room, go into the charity shop and find hardback books. Now, nine, nine times out of ten, they'll have a really gross cover on them. And um, if you look under the cover, they have these really gorgeous books. And um, so I've got some red ones for Christmas. I've got beige and green ones around the house to add the ties, pops of green. Um, and I do have an orange one, which I don't, haven't been able to find. I think it might be in a charity shop bag because I know I got it recently and I'm probably going to show you it in a haul. Um, but it's like a little orange book that I thought I could stack up and add a bit of more orange into the room. I've got these little pumpkins as well. Um, so these ones were from B&M last year. Um, and this one's also from TK Maxx. And I just think they're really, really sweet. Ties in all the oranges and greens and it ties in all the sort of like green eucalyptus as the fresh stuff with the orange as well. And um, I've got a little candle going that my friend got me for my birthday. It's like a little Ralph Lauren one. It smells of rose. It's really nice actually. Um, I've just got that one lit at the moment because I've got so many candles that I've got to get through and I've not really been lighting them. Um, so every night time it's really nice and cozy but I thought I'd light it to set the scene. <laughs> as with the TV, I had to set the scene. Do you know, this is like a little preset on YouTube. I get asked every year when I put this on in the background. People are like, Rosie, what is that? Literally go onto YouTube and write in fireplace 
and there is one that will come on. It's about four hours worth on a loop, um, but obviously I'm only putting it on for the for the video. I wouldn't just leave my TV on like this. But it'd be nice if a friend come over or something, I suppose, so you could just put the actual fire on. Um, so these ones are also from Tinder. If you've been watching my channel for a couple of years, you might remember this one. This one where I nearly disowned my kids in Tico Max to run across the store to go and get it before anyone else got it. Um, <laughs> and I've got the little bronze one as well. So as we come round into this part of the room, I've styled up my little peg rail. Um, so I thought this looks really cute. So I had my carpenter make this up for me. So the little basket, the little like terracotta age pops candle and photos all stay on there throughout the year. Um, but I just thought it'd be nice to add a little bit of Christmassy stuff or a little bit of autumnal stuff. So I've just popped one of these little fake pumpkins from Amazon. And then this little pumpkin was a bright orange, really garish with a scary face on it from the pound shop now, but this horrible plastic stalk. So I took the plastic stalk out, spray painted it in stone paint and popped a little stem in it and just made like a little rustic pumpkin, which I think looks really nice with the terracotta pots. Little cutie there. Um, and then I've also got the matching roof. So this also lights up as well. So this is also from the range. Um, so I didn't do a range haul, but I thought I'd show you when I'm doing these bits. So this is really lovely. These are all really reasonably priced and the range has got some really, really beautiful farmhousey bits on there. I also got this fro from the range as well. I think this is about £12 um, and it's lovely and big and I'm going to be using this for like as a picnic blanket in the summer as well. Uh, but it's really nice and cosy to have out and it's got little bits of green in it. So it goes with all the existing green stuff. That I've got in the room already like my pops of green um, and over here we've got this table so this is a new addition and this is also from Wayfair does anyone else have a leather sofa and their dog's paw prints is all over the sofa like you can see where he's jumped up onto the sofa had a little turnaround and probably laid down about there um, <laughs> there's Bertie prints all over the sofa um, so yeah this table is a new addition now Gary has been saying to me for ages Rosie why don't we get some nested tables or like a little side table because there's not really any way you can pop your tea without putting it in front of the TV or having to get up all the way over there um, so when they asked me to pick a few items one of the items was definitely going to be what, like a little side table so this is really really nice this is really lovely and solid and chunky it's really lovely and it's got a nice wooden top as well and I've just popped a few little books on there and a little candle that candle is actually beautiful this is a sweet pumpkin spice they gifted this to me this was the um uh american treasures they gifted this to me because i shouted out their channel um on instagram like their page on instagram because i just bought stuff i purchased the stuff myself shared it and so many of you guys went and bought the stuff they were so grateful that they actually sent this out to me which was really naughty because i wasn't expecting them to send out anything at all obviously i didn't do it for that i just paid for the stuff myself shared it because i think you should share small if you can um so yeah, that smells absolutely incredible. And this is where our cups of tea go in the evening when we have some nice biscuits, wrap up in the blanket and come round. Also got my Fortnum Mason hamper, which is filled to the top with blankets. It's just loads of throws and blankets because that is our blanket room where we come sit in here and watch films. The kids' little Halloween boxes are here. The baby obviously has some buttons and some PJs and a little book that's now in the spooky book thing. So his one's kind of empty. I'll put that back down the shed. But the kids have still got some of their bits that they've not used yet in their little hampers. So I've just left them there. As you come around, I have added some bits into the bathroom. So I thought this would be a really cute little reef to add into the bathroom to go with all like the greens and the sages. So this was from Home Sense, which is really, really sweet. And as you come round onto the windowsill, I've also got another little spooky pumpkin from Amazon and this little one from Home Sense. And I think it just looks really cute together. As I'm coming up close in all of the shots, it's making it very, very evident that I need to wash. <laughs> my windows but the window cleaner is coming but i just find when it's raining where we live we're literally about 10 houses from the seafront like actual seafront and i find that the sand blows onto our windows and just makes them look horrendous i've never had that before and um, so now going into the utility room i wanted to show you in here because we are planning on painting this the same color as what's out in the hallway um basically if i show you up close you'll be able to see so there's loads of knots that are coming through the wood and they've gone quite shiny. So they look like, you know, like when kids have banana fingers or butter fingers and leaf prints. So I need to get some of that Zinsta bin and um, go over that and then um, paint this and I'll probably stain the little pegs a little bit darker. But this is one of the items that we picked. So this is a gorgeous like bench storage bench that we can use. This is also from Wayfair. I just thought this was absolutely gorgeous. 
um, and I could not pick this. As you can see, it's filled with shoes and stuff um, and the drawers are filled with all like baby shoes. There's so much storage in this, guys. Um, and I absolutely love it. I really struggled to find one that was in this really lovely sort of like dark wood rustic look colour that wasn't like a veneer, like it is wood. And I love that because sometimes it's a bit shiny or do you know when they're painted, I know because it's in like a boot room area, it's going to get all chipped and damaged. So I love that it's in the wood. Um, so the kids can come in here. Obviously now it's autumn months. They can take their wellies off there because obviously they're notoriously hard to get off on their own. Um, sit on the bench, take their hats and scarves off and stuff if they want to and it's just really nice and obviously if you've watched my home tour you will see like my new hallway tour you will see that we're going to get these drawers replaced to so like a, a kind of like an antique oak look so they will match with this bench perfectly so it match really nice in here so i'm thinking with this being beige as well it will look really really cute i will link this below in the description it's just absolutely gorgeous and the storage baskets you get in this are huge like i've got about three pairs of boots in these and this one i've got four pairs of trainers in this one and um, there is so much oh, so much space in these you get your free baskets they can come out and then your free drawers as well and um, so i thought that was quite a nice little autumn piece of furniture to add um, and also as well on the shelves i just add where my laundry powder and stuff is i just add a couple of these little pound shop pumpkins got these a few years ago i think these are adorable i really really love these i don't put too much out here um, and then i've just got my little pumpkin harvest sign that I made. Another little pumpkin and two more little pumpkins from the pound shop. As you can see, look, my window with a sandstorm, like I explained. Um, but yeah, this is the utility. And it's just nice to have that there now because there's coats in this cupboard here. So the kids can come in, get their coats out the cupboard, put their shoes on and stuff here. It's just really cozy. And if we want to come in through this door here, they can just take their muddy boots off and stuff in here. It doesn't have to walk through the whole house. And then we're going to go into the, the messy room. So the baby's been playing in here, like I was saying. He's been chilling out. Um, and yeah, just kind of, just this like normal family life, isn't it? So as you first come in, you'll see I've got this unit. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, guys. Um, so I've got this. It's very zoomed in. I'm not too sure if it's because I use my phone or if it's because I'm not the best at filming. But they make your house look really like up close as if I've got my phone to like basically near the wall. And there's quite a lot more space than showing. Um, so I've just hung my little wreath, which I think is really cute. This is like out, going to be out all year round. But I love this little autumnal. It looks like little snowdrops um, on there. I've also got these little pumpkin. Pumpkins. This little pumpkin here is like one of them ones that you can paint yourself. So I got that from the range um, last year. I've got a little B&M pumpkin. I've got a little wild rhubarb um, candle from the White Company. And then a couple of these pumpkins that are also from B&M last year. Albert's got a birthday sign up. So I got this. This is Meg Hat Hooray. Um, and I've got this and I hang this up every time it's one of the kids' birthdays. I just think it's really, really cute. Um, so as we go around, I did change this up. So I did go for the orange colours in here and then the kids were like, Mummy, I think it'd be better if we had it in our snuggly living room where we watch movies. So I do put a bit of the telly on in here, but this is more like the overspill living room. Um, so if the kids are like halfway through a film, me and Gary are sort of cooking dinner, chilling. The baby wants to play in here on his play mat and his soft play. Then we'll put something on in here. Um, so I just thought, do you know what? I'll just decorate this a bit more muted because it does get quite a lot of carnage and mess from the kitchen. So it'd be quite nice to keep this clearer, actually. So it's a good idea. So I've got a couple of these. Let me zoom back. I've got a couple of these little pumpkins that are from Amazon um, here, which I think are really cute. And then I've also got, with my normal eucalyptus and stuff here, I've got this little candle. So this is the one that I showed you last year that got cracked. Um, it's the Martha Stewart one, so I've still not lit it because I know that it's just going to break. But it's so beautiful that I've kept that there. I've also got a little Lyman Bay White Company candle. And then this little gold pumpkin that's from Home Bargains as well. Not Home Bargains, sorry. Um, it's the same one. Home Sense, that's it. Home Sense. And as you come over to my back wall here, you will see I've got the little pumpkin sign that I made. See, can you see all the wood knots coming through in all the wood? Here, so I've got to go around and I've got a job of literally, and where the wood, because of the weather, they expand and shrink and stuff. I've got to go over with the cork and fill in all the little knots, knots and stuff. So yeah, wish me luck with that. That's going to be a job, I think, for after Christmas. Um, 
But yeah, I've just got these little pumpkin ornament like stands that I made. And then I've just literally popped on a few of them little white boo pumpkins out of the Amazon packet, just along with the other bits that I have on my back shelf. And I think it looks really cute. I'm obviously going to de decorate my table more autumn when we have people over. But as we're having people over later for Albert's birthday, I'm going to get all the birthday table stuff out. So I've not laid that. And if you come round into the kitchen, I ended up taking the roof off of the uh, stand because I didn't want to put up um, one of them command stick hooks. I feel like with the heat and the steam from cooking, it's just gonna come off and I didn't wanna put a nail in this, even though, like I've mentioned, I've got to go over with the knots of the wood. So it's probably been about a year now that this has been like, like you know, not come out, but it's just finally come out, the knots in the wood. Um, so if there is a paint you can recommend that would cover this, because initially I did cover it with um, knotting solutions, basically to stop the knots coming through. And it stopped them coming through for about a year. And then all of a sudden I started seeing like dark marks. And I really tried to scrub them because I thought that was from me cooking. Um, but it's not, it's just the knots, they're all coming out in the wood. And um, so I've been told to use Insta bin it, which basically it just sort of coats it. So I'm trying to gonna try and use that anyway, and then recoat over it with the paint. But I do like to freshen up my paint once a year anyway, now and again, go touch up bits. So I'll just do that all in one go. I might even do it before Christmas, so it's all lovely and fresh for Christmas. Um, but yeah, I've got my little Laura Ashley pumpkin dish out, the one that I get out every single year. I love this, I've had this about eight years now. Love it. Um, I've also got this one that I got from Home Bargains this year, which is just really, really cute. You'd have seen this little section here of me decorating this bit, getting it all ready. I do want to show you Albert's cake. So we did buy him like a really, really cheap supermarket cake for his cake smash today. But this is ready made up for when he have like family and friends over later for his like little family tea party. And the chocolate, honestly, it smells amazing. Um, so it's just by a lady that makes them locally. Um, and I just thought this was adorable. She also made Millie's cake and we've got her to make Archie's cake in a couple of days as well. And if you come over here onto the look on the windowsill, we've just literally got a couple of like little pink pumpkins out. So this is like a little candle pumpkin. This is from Primark. And um, also got this one from B&M this year. And this pink one's from B&M last year. There's a rogue pumpkin. That's not actually meant to be there, but you know, it's random. I might just even pop it on this little shelf up here. Why not? Random orange one there, but yeah, so I've got a little pumpkin dish there as well because I've got some of my little cloths in there that I've just used in. So once my table's all decorated for autumn, it'll be a lot more autumn-y, um, but then I've just made it a little bit more autumn-y upstairs in my bedroom. I think the problem is I don't like to put too much out on the ground level like I used to, or too much on the edges or sides, or like the trailing sort of eucalyptus and stuff like that because Albert is standing up around all the furniture and it is pulling it all off. Um, and it's just a bit of a hazard really. So it's like, I'm trying to be careful. So probably next year I'll be able to decorate, decorate, decorate. So I'm gonna go show you the bedroom and then we can finish the tour. And now for the last room, which is our bedroom. So if you've seen our bedroom tour, you would have seen this room minus the chest of drawers. So these are the ones that I managed to get from the charity shop and paint, um, which I absolutely love. And then Albert's now got the other chest of drawers in his room. And I've ordered like these lovely little porcelain safari animal um, little handles for it. Just painted it in the same paint. I'm still waiting for my large rug to come. Um, but it's taking really long to come. So in here, I wanted to show you We've put the most gorgeous little prints on the wall. So like these little, these are from a place called Junique um, and they're like an autumn, I'll get a bit closer, sort of prints so you can see. Um, and this chair, <laughs> this I fell in love with. So this chair is from Wayfair. Absolutely love this chair. Now I did actually pick this chair thinking it would go in the bay window downstairs in the lounge. It'd be really snuggly next to the little like occasional table. So it's like an extra seat for someone when they have tea and coffee and stuff. But when it come, I said to Gary, that has got to go in the bedroom. It's just so, so beautiful. I don't even capture the light and it's like this sort of like linen look material. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's got these oak turned feet, which are beautiful. Um, and when the rug comes, the rug will probably come to about here, just under the feet of it. It will tie it all in. And then my um, my friend's going to change the look plug sockets as well. And it will just all come in really nicely. So I've just put a few of my little homemade pumpkins. So I have got a video where I make these. I can link that below as well. Um, so these are made out of old cushion covers that I was no longer using and some jute twine. And I thought they look really cute there just as a little bit of an autumnal flair. Um, no autumnal cushions and stuff this year. But... 
over in this corner here, I've still not had my mirror put up on the wall yet. We've got a couple more pumpkins, but these are also from Wayfair and these are stunning. So I've got this lovely big silvery sort of mercury one, which is absolutely gorgeous. And then I've got this one. Now, this is probably my most favourite pumpkin, apart from the stone one downstairs. This is gorgeous. It's like carved wood um, and it's got like a lime wash on it. And it's a sort of gold shape. It's absolutely beautiful. I love this. It's so, so lovely. And um, so I'll link them below. But it's really nice, actually, because we can come sit down, have a little cup of tea and stuff in the bedroom. I am finding, because I breastfeed Albert, this is like my little sanctuary in here. So I just come sit on the bed, pop the telly on, feed him. I've also changed this up here because I did have the little plastic bit from the TV running here. But what I've done is I've changed that. I've sort of hidden it behind these books, more charity shop books. Um, and I've done the little wire down here so you can't see it um, rather than it being on show. And I've changed the pot out and put this little terracotta pot of one um, here with my dried eucalyptus, little candle from White Company. And then this is where I just put my watch and stuff. Rest it when I'm not wearing it. And it just looks really, really cute. I love how a charity shop book can just look so cute. Um, and it doesn't have to cost a lot, does it? It's just a little occasional decor and it's hid the wires beautifully. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I can't wait to just come in here, have a chill, have a sleep, have a relax in here, sit on the chair. I've also got my laptop in my basket because since the chair's come, I've been doing certain things, emails at the school and stuff like that. Up in my chair, Gary would be laying in the bed with the kids watching a film and then I'm propped up properly. Um, so yeah, hopefully <laughs> you love this. I'm going to link it all below, but it's so beautiful. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you the prints. So the prints are really really pretty so these are very autumnal as well so these are from a place called junique um and these are like these extinct flowers and i love that they've got these sort of plums like patterns through them really really pretty um, and i've got these frames with the inserts from the range um, and i think they look really nice this sort of country paneling really go lovely so hopefully you enjoyed that video guys i've been rosie henshaw see you later take care bye